As children here in Telford, these women were groomed, abused and sold to men for sex. I thought this was the norm. I didn't understand what was happening because it was happening to the other girls as well. For Joanne, it began when she was just 12. By the time she was 16, her abuser had forced her into prostitution. There were guns involved. Lots of weapons were used on me. Trapped, afraid and alone, they all felt blamed by the authorities. Social services let me down. The police, because they would see us on the street and just drive past. I was 15 when I gave birth to my son. Um, I gave birth alone. Uh, the stigma that was attached to that, even in the hospital that I gave birth in, I was one of the midwives said to me, who are the teddies for, you or the baby? Because I was getting arrested by the police, I was seen as a criminal. So you start then thinking, well, I deserve this. The report looked into claims that the involvement of Asian men in child abuse led to fears within West Mercia police of being branded racist. In echoes of similar reports in places like Rotherham and Rochdale, it found there was a reluctance among officers to police a part of Telford. The murder of 16-year-old Lucy Lowe, seen here on the left, her sister and their mother, scared children into silence. Lucy's abuser, Azar Ali Mehmud, set fire to their home. She'd given birth to his baby when she was just 14. Her uncle says that should have alerted the authorities. Instead, like so many others, she was blamed for her abuse. They thought they were promiscuous, all bad. They're not bad. The bad people were the ones doing this child sex exploitation within our town, under our noses. And uh, obviously, somebody knew. The report concludes the authorities did know and suffering and deaths of children could have been avoided. Both the council and police have apologised. We failed to protect people adequately in the past and I want to be really straightforward in apologising to those victims and survivors and anyone who's had their lives marked by exploitation. Survivors say change is urgently needed to protect children now and in the future. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Telford.